Boris FX's Color Essentials unit for Final Cut Pro contains eight filters, and one of them being film stocks. The great part about it is that you can save your own preset to share with other editors, not only on Final Cut Pro, but any host that supports Continuum. I'm gonna apply BCC Plus film stocks from the film style category of my effect browser. Once the effect is applied, in the inspector, I'm gonna show its properties and head inside of the effects editor. If we look here on the left-hand side, we will see several presets from various popular manufacturers of film stocks. You can select one, give it a preview, and adjust its parameters here on the right-hand side. It just so happens that I like the Fuji F500 look, but would like to dial up a bit of the grain. In order to do that, I'll head into the parameters, down to the bottom of the effect where the grain is, increase its size to two, while also softening it a bit by entering a value of 0.8. To save this as a preset, click on the Create Custom Preset icon at the top right of the parameter section. You can name the preset accordingly. I'll add Dialed Up Grain, add a description if required, as well as a tag. Once you press OK, you should see at the bottom of the preset section your custom preset. If you right-click it, notice that you can open a custom preset location on your Mac OS, and of course, right-click to find out its file path. Notice how lightweight the XML file is, making it seamless and easy to share with other editors in Final Cut Pro, not to mention any host that supports Continuum. And that's how you save a custom preset inside of Color Essentials Unit for Final Cut Pro. For more Continuum quick tips, don't forget to check out our website at borisfx.com.